Hello everyone and welcome to the Occult Rags to Riches. Dun, dun, dun. And we are in Glimmerbrook, the beautiful Glimmerbrook with its uh, houses <laughs> that the magicians live in. We are standing here on an empty lot and we have our characters. So I haven't played any of the occult stuff since the packs came out. So I did werewolves when werewolves came out. Vampires when I got vampires and uh, the magic uh, realm when I, when I did, realm of magic when I did that. So this is the first time I've played any occult sim in so long. And these are our characters. So first off we have here Sylvia Wichity. And she has a familiar, uh, she is green, so her familiar cat is Salty Witchity. Each of the occult characters has their own familiar, that's part of the Rags to Riches challenge. Sylvia is a werewolf. So she is lunar confident from choosing a werewolf aspiration. She's an art lover, childish, and an insider. So we've got the three pets adopted into the family, uh, but each each pet has a has a. Mm, I guess owner isn't the right word, but whatever a familiar's person is, <laughs> I don't know the word. So this is Sylvia, and she's in the green. And then we have Serena, and she is in the red. And Serena is uh, a vampire. She is a vegetarian vampire, <laughs> a recycled disciple, self-assured, and a quick learner. So I actually did these uh, traits as random, so these are what they are. <laughs> but I did choose the aspirations uh, very much in keeping with what these characters are, are going to be. So we've got a master vampire there, and her familiar is Saucy. Look at a little Saucy down there. And then our last character here is Seraphine. Seraphine Witchy, and she is in the purple. And Seraphine is uh, going to be a witch, and she is a cat lover, a green fiend, a loner, a storm chaser sim, okay, uh, mentally gifted, and a quick learner. Wow. All right. So she's got lots of things going on there, and her familiar is dragon, and that's dragon down there in the purple. So these are our characters, and I will put up the rules. Ta da! I suggest that you have a pause and have a read of what the rules of the challenge are, but essentially it's rags to riches. We need to take care of our pets first, our familiars first, and each of the sims need to have their own different type of tower. So, uh, uh, well, not necessarily a tower, but a domicile. So the werewolf needs a werewolf lair, the vampire, or a werewolf hangout, the vampire needs a vampire lair, and the witch needs a witch's tower and they need to have specific things and they can only be made with packs uh, and there is fines to be able to make those so oh boy this is going to be a challenge so i'm going to get set up as i do for all rags to riches challenges and uh let's get going so let's move this mailbox over here for starters so that's nice and easy accessible so i'm going to create a, a roof for our sims to live under so they've got a little something to uh, hide under when the weather gets bad so I'm gonna stand that out and then I'm gonna make it curvy and bring it down there we go so we've got a roof over our heads and let's make it nice and clear so we've got lots of light going over but make it pretty too look at that and this is all free stuff so you know you can still make it pretty why not so my whole idea is that I want to have like a combined like central kind of house because I can do anything with that and then each of the each of the towers is going to be like well not necessarily towers but each of the buildings for each of the sims will go off to the off to the side and uh, be their own separate things so yeah I think that's going to be quite cool but I've got to get there first because <laughs> I've got no money <laughs> So it'll be exciting and I'm just going to build like a little pond so that I can go froggy hunting and we'll have a look around the area and see if we can collect any collectibles as well in a little while once those get there. So there we go, we've got our pond and uh, let's go frogging. 
frog hunting. It's the way to go. Look, frogs. Ah, oh, also, I forgot, I need to... The lot challenges. So we start with the lot challenges. They are off the grid. Spooky. And simple living. So we can remove those lot challenges with... 10,000 simoleons <laughs> so that's going to be quite expensive so but we can remove them at, at any point uh, with 10,000 simoleons so that's the cost for removal and we can add lot traits if we like and that costs 5,000 simoleons to add a lot trait so I can do that at some point but obviously not now because I have zero of the money but that should add a little bit of an extra element to the game. And gathering water becomes important. <laughs> because if we have more, uh, the more water we can uh, gather, the more we'll have, obviously, an excess. And it cuts down on our bills a little bit as well. So it's actually quite handy going off the grid. But it obviously has its challenges as well going there. So let's go and let's see what the cats do. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to take care of the cats. So the cats need food bowls and they need a bed, they need toys and a litter tray. So yeah, we need to get some money to, to be able to do that. So we haven't got any of the world stuff up as yet as in collectibles, but we might send someone off fishing. So well, who do we think? I think maybe our werewolf might be good at fishing. So we'll send her off to gather some water and go fishing. We're not having much luck with the froggies. But as soon as we get a few frogs, we're going to start uh, breeding frogs because, yeah, baby. They can be a good little lucrative amount of money. And I want to have uh, like a little, little garden with beehives and stuff, but we will get that started a little bit later once we get some money. So let's have a look and see if we've got enough frogs there to do any breeding. So we've got two frogs here. What are kind of those? Leaf frogs? No. And oh, we've got two frogs here. Ooh, we want an uncommon one. Okay, so let's breed that. With that. And we've got, oh, a tiger frog. Okay, so I'm going to sell that one because it's not rare and it won't get us much money. Oh, the cats are upset. Oh no, I knew that was going to be a problem. So we've got 10 small heads. <laughs> Um, you now we can gather water every hour, so I mean that's quite handy for getting a surplus there and we can sell that surplus for a bit of cash. Some road thinking. And let's get to know our cat. So this is your familiar here. Get to know. <laughs> oh, look at the little kitty sitting up. Oh, so cute. Oh, what's this? We've got a phone call. Oh, I missed the phone call. Okay, oops. Oh, it's just Batu. <laughs> Please go and visit Batu. No, I don't want to. All right, what have we got here? So we've got 10, 10, and 10. All common rats. Oh, kitties. I know, your owner's off and away. So let's get to know and pet. And get to know and talk to and praise. Now, have we got any uncom? Oh, yay! Sun surfer, excellent. Okay, none of the rest of these are uncommon, but we can sell these and breed frog with striped eggplant. Ugh. Okay, so they netted ten. Dragon is a prowler. Okay, and Seraphine just became friends with Saucy. Excellent. So, how is Sylvia getting on with her fishing? she caught anything no okay oh and seraphine's come over to have a chat with a cat all the way over there <laughs> oh boy all right uh what can we do what can we do what we can do we've got 70 smolians and have we got any collect oh hello welcome wagon let us say hello to them Invite neighbours in to our roof. <laughs> Come into our roof, neighbours. 
Come in, it's lovely in here. And we definitely want that fruit, gourmet fruit cake. Ah. Yes, we've got our collectibles. So I'm going to send Seraphine off to collect the stuff and see what other collectibles we can find in Glimmerbrook. I'm not too, I haven't played Glimmerbrook in so long. So I really don't know where all the collectibles and stuff are. Here we go. Some more. Tickety dig. Look at you for frogs. It's actually not too bad for collectibles, is it? Back in the days before they took them all away and made us really hunt for them. I love collectibles and worlds, I think it's fantastic. It just makes it more interactable. <laughs> more interactive is the world is the word I was going for. <laughs> interactable. Oh man. I'm in one of those uh, <laughs> head spaces, obviously. Oh, eggplant wolf frog. Oh, I didn't realise you had me so many frogs. So we've got a tiger frog, eggplant wolf frog. So that's a hundred. Okay, so we're gonna sell these cheeky ones. We don't need those. Look at that, we're at 100. And we're at 20. So let's breed those two. Tiger. Okay, well, it's fine, 35. So we're going to open that up when we get the chance. And off she goes. Oh, I'm playing in the water. Here we go. Good one, Serena. In the water, having a jump around. Excellent. Oh no! Don't eat, don't eat the fruitcake! No! No 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 no! <laughs> um... Oh shoot! I can't put it in my inventory, <laughs> this is annoying! Don't eat the food cat! <laughs> oh well, individual servings it is! <laughs> pick up serving, pick up serving, pick up serving! Don't eat my fruit cake. All right, so what do we need for the cats? Let's start with that. So we're actually doing okay. We're at 165 simoleons so far. And let's have a look at the pets. Pet stuff, pet stuff. Okay, so we can afford, I think we need a little tray so they can tinkle. And a food bowl so they can eat. And, mm, I kind of want to get them like a little tower to sleep on rather than a flat bed. So maybe we do. Ah, uh, do a litter, litter box over there and food there. And we need a toy. And then. Oh, we just had enough money to do this all. Okay, and a toy. And that's the three things I need. Uh, sorry, the four things I need to buy for the cats. So, and we've got enough to fill the bowl. Okay, brilliant. So the cat's taken care of. So now we can start working on the essentials for my Simmer Simmer Simmies. Now, where is Seraphine off to? She's over there. Now, I did see some more collectibles over here that I didn't have on my list to find. So we'll collect those. I'm actually really impressed with how many collectibles there are in here. That's not too shabby for a... For a race to riches challenge starting place. I'm quite happy with that. I have lost Sylvia. Where is she? She's off talking to a cat. Okay. How did she get on with fishing? Not very well. She can maybe get some water and get some more fishing in and see whether or not we can actually catch anything. Because if we get any gardening stuff, we want to have the fish for fertilizer. There's plates all over the yard, so we can probably buy a rubbish bin sometime soon. We can get, uh, we can rummage through that as well, which will be helpful. So I'll get good old Serena here, looking for some more frogs. Oh, look, the kitty's on the cat tower already. Oh, cute little dragon. So let's have a look at our bills. Okay, so that's looking really good. So just by gathering water, we've got that down to 22 simoleons for the bills so far. So yeah, that's very affordable, except it's not affordable because we don't <laughs> we have five simoleons. 
<laughs> but it will be affordable. Okay, and so we've got some of my fruit cake there. Dirt frog. We'll sell you. And ah, we can bring again. Brilliant. It'll be a tiger frog. Fabulous. We can get rid of that one there, which means we can do another breed here. Excellent, another 30 simoleons. Ah, oh, we are raking it in. This is really uh, so much easier with three sims opposed to one, which is what I normally do when I am playing Rex to Riches. So this is cool. But to be able to do anything in terms of building, I actually need to accomplish aspirations. So I can't build anything until I've got like an aspiration goal ticked off. Tick, tick, tick. And I can only build like in their towers, so I keep calling them towers, you know what I mean. They're not necessarily towers, but I, it's a cult, you kind of want to say tower. <laughs> like a wizard tower or something. Hey, Sylvia caught a fish. Uh, now I was opening these up. Let's open some more of these up. Open up. And open up. Tiger frog. Will. Oh my gosh, she's got all the rare ones, so that's cool. So let's sell all these. Oh wow! Okay, fantastic. Should we send that off? Hmm. Okay, let's get when she's home, I'm going to send that off to the jeweler. I think we can get some more money from that. Okay, so we've got 215 simoleons! What should we buy? Hmm, <laughs> look at the kitty! <laughs> oh, it's a little salty. Look at a little salty having a nap on her back. Huh? Maybe. I'm actually not too sure if they're male or female. I didn't actually check that. <laughs> it was kind of irrelevant. Oh, you're meowing at the wall! And, oh, aren't you cute? I don't know what you're doing, but you're very cute. Hmm, so what is going to be the most essential? Toilet, probably, so I don't pee myself. Let's have a look and see how much a toilet is. I know I could do the bush thing and then they could sleep in the bush, but... They get so yucky. So yucky. Ah, uh, 250. Okay, we can do that. So I've already got some stuff for the cats. I'm playing in the pool. Uh, Sabrina's playing in the pool at the moment. I'm gonna give her some more water. Good girl. Okay, and then we've got Sylvia. She's still off fishing. Oh, she's got a buddy. She can say hi. Oh, and Sylvia's been catching fish. Good on you, Sylvia. So she's got a bass and a couple of goldfish. Fantastic. Now I have completely lost our lovely Seraphine, who is over here. Now what are we going to send her off to do? Is there any public toilets? What's that? Hang on. Oh, and another thing. Uh, is there... I don't... Oh, more things. There's so many things in this world. It's great. I have to play more rags to riches in this area. I, I quite often just do Willow Creek because there's so many collectibles that you can get. So this is quite exciting. I love playing in a different area. Um, now, the thing is with this, I have to pay fines if I want to leave the lot. Like travel from the lot. And if I want to travel from the world, I have to pay a fine as well. So it's 500 to leave the lot and thousand to leave the world so that makes it a little bit trickier unless I can walk to it and use it from my home I can't go there at the moment because it's just way too expensive when I make a little bit money more money a little bit later I think it'll be a lot more achievable but right now it is not okay so I think why don't we go look for those I think we're about good on the collectibles. I can't see any others around the world. So we'll have to send one of the sims out in the next day and get there. Ah, our welcome wagon is gone. Fabulous. Our cats are doing poops. We're definitely going to need a 
uh, what, uh, rubbish bin to get rid of those. So I think that's going to be next on our list. And a toilet. We're going to start needing one of those. So we've got the problem that obviously we are in like quite an open area as well because we're not in a proper house. And uh, so that makes things a little bit trickier for them being maybe a little bit shy. Obviously, because you know, you don't want to be peeing out in public. That's not ideal. So here we are. You're just having a chat with your new friends. That's cool. Did you catch any more fish? So I didn't see any growing plants around the place, however. There was one over here, there's one here. Which is in progress. Oh no, you really need to pee. Um, okay, 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 okay. What are we going to do? Let's go home. Just gonna look for lots of frogs. She's gonna be my frogger. My vampire frogger. Vampire frogger. Right, I need to have a look at the aspirations and see what we can do there too. So let's check in the inventory. Yes, we can breed. Okay, great. <gasps> 35! Now my frogger has been frogging away here, so we can sell some of this too, which is great. Uh Common, we'll get rid of all the common stuff because I don't want to keep that. Super rare. And common. Okay, so we can breed this with that. And yay! Ooh! 125. We're up to 450! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, and we've got another fossil. Ah, broken fossil. Rats. We've got a tree frog. Okay, we'll sell that one and can we breed this one? Yes, we can. Tiger frog? Ah, oh, excellent! Look at this! We're raking it in with the frogs. I tell you, it's a real money maker, the old frog breeding. Hmm. So we need a rubbish bin to get rid of our cat poopies. So that doesn't need to be anything fancy. Just the cheapest one here. That'll do the trick. Hide that off to the side. Now, toilet. Ooh, semi-private toilet stall. Stalled for time. I know it's more expensive, like 150 extra, but in this kind of environment I think that's gonna be excellent very helpful okay so I'm gonna go for it we have a toilet next thing we need to save for is probably I well I mean we can live dirty if it rains we can shower in the rain so I think a bed is probably gonna be our next essential and I don't like to use these because they don't Ah, hang on, that one's great because it does the stress oh, stress relief, but it's uncomfortable. This one's doesn't comment on that, but it's less stress relief. Hmm, but same energy. Okay, cool. Well, we'll, we'll aim for about 300 and see how we go. So, we're going to send Seraphine off to use the toilet. Saucy is a curious cat. Try asking them what's that and watch them investigate around the house. Oh, cute. Uh, Serena, you can go clean the litter box. Thank you very much. Get to know the cats. Oh, and I can get rid of these plates. Fabulous. I am 100 going to forget that the uh, that Serena is also a vegetarian. <laughs> I'm going to feed her meat. I can guarantee it. Uh, Sylvia, I think you should maybe head home and uh, you can rummage for bits and pizzas. And Serena, you can throw that away. <laughs> Aww, Kitty's playing with the rubbish bin. That's so cute. Ah, so cute. Yay! Okay, let's.
let's go. Let's gather some water. Gather some water. Gather some water. And oh, by the way, I did start this in winter, so it's an extreme start. <laughs> Rex to riches challenge. Uh, not on a 64 by 64 lot, obviously, but yeah. I have started this in winter, just to make it extra difficult on myself. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> so, yay me! Yay me! So let's look for some more frogs and see whether or not we can get ourselves a bed. And we're going to have to take turns sleeping on the bed. So that's fun. And I, why can't we throw this rubbish out? What is going on here? Is the rubbish bin too close to the... Let's just put it over here then. This rubbish approves, is proving to be problematic. Here we go. Throwing it out. And... Who's got space? Oh, poor Serena. She's forever cleaning out the litter box. Oh well. We will get a laser one soon. And then it won't be such a problem. It will just be a every now problem. Every now and then problem. What are you up to? What are you staring at? <laughs> the cats are so cute. I'm a cat lover, by the way. I love cats. So, just... Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to forgive me. <laughs> Always looking out for... Cute cat moments. That's me. So, uh, let's take a quick look at the aspirations. And if we can get ourselves a bed, then I think we've done really well in the first episode. We've got cat stuff. We've got... A toilet and a bed. I mean, that's a pretty amazing start for Rags to Riches. And I haven't killed anyone, so that's brilliant. Uh, another one of the rules, if you didn't stop and pause and re read the rules, is that you have to have your familiar at the end of the challenge. So uh, if they run away, that's fine, because they'll more, more than often come back. But yeah, to end the challenge, you've got to have your familiar with you as well. What a rush! The, this boost of adrenaline is making Serena feel amazing! Should she em firmly embrace with her astonishingly sculpted arms that she likes fitness? Sure! Yes, you can. And uh, I have to say yes to everything as well. So uh, that's an exciting rule. So if anybody calls or texts or anything like that, I have to always choose the first option. Whatever it is, I have to choose it. So. I am probably going to get quite annoyed with giving Bess <laughs> money. <laughs> that's going to be terrible. Okay, let's look at the aspirations. So for Sylvia, our werewolf, she's got to become a werewolf, level up to runt, experience a full moon, and read werewolf books. So uh, we're going to have to get enough money for her to travel to Moonwood Mill to be able to do that, which is a thousand simoleons to leave the world. So that should be an... Um, mm, so it might take a little while for us to be able to tick that particular option one off but we could get her a bookshelf and purchase some uh, you can only purchase them via computer surely not maybe surely you can purchase them in the bookshelf so we need to get a bookshelf anyway hopefully so we're gonna save up a thousand simoleons once we've got our basics sorted and we can send Sylvia off to become a werewolf so next one is our lovely Serena so she needs to become a vampire so we just need to make a vampire friend what are the chances that we will get a vampire coming to visit I mean that would be quite that would be quite good sorry I'm just getting them uh, working while I'm talking about their aspirations because there's no point wasting time when they could be working, working, working. I've got to work my sims and make that money. Anyway, back to uh, the, the vampire thing. So, what are the chances that a vampire comes to visit? I mean, they quite often do, but I don't know. We'll see how we go. So, use a computer to search for information on vampires. So, we need to buy a computer. We don't have any power, so we're going to need to buy some green energy as well. <laughs> and then uh, read encyclopedia vampirica volume one so again we need a bookshelf cool so computer and a bookshelf it's got to be high on our list all right and then spellcraft and sorcery so become a spellcaster so first things first you need to become a spellcaster seek out the help of a sage in the magic realm to learn about magic and eventually perform the rite of ascension 
so the magic realm is here. Huh. Sweet. So we don't actually need to leave our lot to be able to get there, I believe. Nope. So, sweet. We don't need to pay any money to do that. So I think this will be our first aspiration that we'll work on, is going to be Seraphine. Uh, so we can travel to the magic realm, easy peasy, and learn a spell. So if we get those started, then we can start on her tower. Uh, obviously we'll need to save some more money to get there, but yeah. Okay, so we've got some, some goals. So we've got a bookshelf, a computer, our basics, and we're going to work on the aspirations for Seraphine. So let's see how much money we've made with our froggy hunting. And hopefully we can buy our bed, send our sims to sleep, and that'll be the uh, end of the episode. I think we've had fun. It's been productive. We've done a lot of things. Tiger frog, sunflower frog. Okay, we'll get rid of the 10 simoleon one and breed that one. Yes, 125. Okay. Okay, okay. We've definitely got enough to buy a bed. This is brilliant. We need to try and get some plants as well so that we can uh, have our garden starting to grow. So we'll both sell both of those and. Oh, don't need that one either. No, oh, shoot. Breed frog, sunflower frog, and 35. Let's buy our bed! Ooh. Ooh. We can get a more fancier bed. Let's go with this one. Black. <laughs> we are the occult. So we've got a hundred simoleons left. So let's hang on to that for now because we need to start saving for. Can we buy cooler actually? Sorry. Distracted. Hmm. So maybe we could buy a cooler and we could eat quick meals, or we're gonna need a fridge and a counter. So that's 500, 600, 700 simoleons. Hmm. Okay. Or we could go for a barbecue drum for 600. And then we don't need a counter. But then we don't have a fridge for saving things. Okay. Many things to debate. Many things to think about. Thank you so much for joining me on the first episode in our Occult Rags to Riches challenge on the Sim Fates, our new channel that I'm collaborating with the Obsessed Simner and Nomi Flamingo on. So keep an eye out for some more content. We will have the Rags to Riches challenge airing every Thursday and the Obsessed Simner has a fantastic new series, Rags to Ranches. And that will be coming out on Saturdays. So look forward to that. And in the next video, I will see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye.